The number of cases is now down uh, to one in every 145 people, and that the rate of decline is continuing, but actually the pace of it is slowing. The rate of hospital admissions uh, shows a fall of 40% over the past fortnight, but there are still 15,485 people in hospital, and that's far too high. The number of deaths have more than halved in the last fortnight, but 380 deaths were reported each day on average over the last week, and that is far too high. The good news is that the link from cases to hospitalizations and deaths, which has had a grim inevitability throughout 2020, that link is now breaking thanks to the vaccination program. And we've now been able to get the slide up. And this demonstrates, as you can see, that there's been a fall in the number of cases, another fall, but that the speed of that fall is slowing slightly. And this fact, and the fact that the pressure on the NHS has lifted somewhat, means that the UK chief medical officers have agreed that the UK alert level has been moved down from level five to level four, which is, of course, great news. But level four still means that there is significant pressure on the NHS. The number of cases is now falling by only 15% a week. In some areas of the country, that has flattened entirely, and one in five local authority areas has seen a rise in cases in the last week. I'm going to ask Professor Van Tam to set out more details of this and the geography uh, in a moment. But I just want to say this about the figures. This stark picture shows that this isn't over yet. The stay-at-home rules are still in place for a reason. Every action that you take, every time you put your mask on, every time you stay at home, you are playing your part. This is on all of us to keep this under control. This is still a deadly virus. We will get through this, but we have to stick at it.